of Northern Chi. Put down your blades. Don't you recognize me? Wait! She's a commoner now. His Majesty decreed it! I've come back here to see my son Yan. If you put your weapons down now, I promise not to have you killed! Don't listen to her! Chili got here by colluding with Wei! This is treason! Everyone charge! Yeah. Yeah. Go and find his majesty. You must keep Xiao Huanyan safe. Yes, yes, yes! For arriving so late. You're here just in time. Listen, I'll stay right here. Get Her Majesty and Madame Lu to safety. No, Yan. I won't leave. Not without you. Huan Yun. I agree. We should go together. Go now. I'll cover you. Now isn't the time to argue. I'm the Emperor. Even if they attack, I can hold them off a while. Huan Yun, what's most urgent now is to protect our child. If something happens to you, even if our child and I survive, what's the point? Huan Yun. Listen to me. She's my mother. She wouldn't kill me. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Come on! Get him into the hall! Now! Majesty! 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 Let's go! Majesty! Quick! Quick! Your Majesty! Sword is guarding just outside. Let's get this arrow out. No, don't. If you do, I'll die faster. Won Yun? Yes, Yun. Take this. Give it to John. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, Yun. Yeah. Take care of Wan Yun and my child. I'm grateful to you all. Oh, Yun. Look at me. I'm right here, okay? I'm right here with you. Feel here. That's our baby. We're here with you. We're all right here. And you're going to be fine. Wan Yun. After I'm gone, you must live on bravely and raise our child well. If it's a boy, name him Gao Wei. If it's a girl, name her Gao Chuan. Tell a child his father loves him, but father can't watch him grow up. You can't die. You can't die, please. Please don't die. You can't leave me behind. You can't leave our poor child. I'm begging you, please. I'm sorry, Wan Yun. I know you and John were in love before. But I took you from him. You didn't know on the wall of Hong Kong Hall that day. John wasn't the first one to see you. It was me. Wan oh, Yun. Don't cry. Don't. Don't cry. Don't cry, Wan Yun. Wan Yun. <laughs> Majesty! 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Open your eyes. Open your eyes and look at me. It's me, Juan. I'm here again. Yeah. Passed on. Everyone, follow me out through Jen Lee Gate to Her Highness's home. I have a thousand men there. We can hold them off for a while. Come! You're the reason my son died. I'll have you skinned alive, your tendons torn, to get revenge for my boy. Empress Dowager, don't be sad. Don't forget that you have a grandchild. I do still have a grandchild. With him, I can still rule as regent. I can still be the Grand Empress Dowager. We could have struck a bridge if we'd know. Another one. Yeah. Hell, all right. Another one. Let's drink up. Go on. Let's drink up. That's good. That's nice. Victory. It's your round. That's good. Come on. Beach. Cheers. Give me another one. All right. They're drinking to celebrate Empress Lo's invasion. I'll get you free. Come on. Drink, drink! Let's go. Come on. Drink up. Good, right? Another one. Here. Mm. Cheers. Bottles up. Mm. Hey. Well, where are you two go, huh? Come back. Come on. Hey, come back. Hey. Where did he go? Go, John has escaped. Go. Go, John has escaped. Go get him. Hurry Pick up. up. Go. Pick up. Go. Come on, hurry! Straight ahead! Catch them! They're over here! Release! Okay, we have to swim across. But I don't know how. 
Trust me. Stop. Who told you to shoot? His Majesty wants them alive. Just Find them. Go, Your Highness. I'm not going to leave without you. You know what I saved you for, right? I can't watch you die. In my heart, I'm your woman. Now's not the time to think about that. I'm going to get you out of here. Trust me. I know you only love Lujan. But I know I was stronger, wasn't I? Hang in there, B. Tell me before I die. I was stronger than her, wasn't I? Over there. Capture him. Hurry! Hurry. Capture him alive. Don't let him escape. It's holding for now. Zhang escaped and returned. No matter what, Her Majesty must bear the prince safely. But, but we can't just defend. We have to break free. I received news that General Shen is rushing back here. He'll arrive in three days' time. I've arranged for some men to dig a tunnel out, so leave that to me. Take care of Her Majesty. Come on, Majesty. Thank you, Prince Consort. Go on. Prince Guang, you're up. You're the Emperor of Chen. That's right. We met in Jiang Kang during my coronation a half a year ago. Two hours at most. Dear Jen. Majesty. Promise me this. After I'm gone, help me take good care of Wei. Yes, of course. He's my nephew. As long as I'm alive, I promise to protect him well. Majesty. Majesty. What are you trying to do? Majesty. Majesty. I beg a favor, Jen. Whatever you ask, I'll agree to it. But please, get up. If you do this for me, you'll suffer. And for the rest of your life. Even if I have to die, I'll do it without hesitation. Just please, get up. No, let me kneel. If Empress Lo controls this child. In the future, he'll become nothing more than her puppet. I don't want my child used by her. Don't worry. I'll protect him well. I won't let anyone take him. And if you can't protect him, I'll be dead. Empress Lo will be his grandmother. 
John's fate hangs in the balance. Empress Lo will put him on the throne and rule the country as a regent. No, Jin. I will not. I will not let Empress Lo take him away. I won't let him become her puppet. What do you want me to do? You might just be an official. But you're the best person to raise my son. But your marriage to John isn't announced yet. So you're not qualified to raise him. But you hold the title of Zhao Yi as an official. But it used to be for concubines. I have His Majesty's Imperial Seal. I can issue a decree using the Imperial Seal to let you adopt this child. As long as you're around, Empress Lo won't dare lay a hand on him. This is the only solution now. It's the only way for you to become Wei's adoptive mother. You can use the Imperial Seal. You'll be able to control everyone after I die. And if John returns and becomes Emperor at any time, you can remove the title. And if he doesn't come back, you can escape with Wei to the state of Chen and find the Imperial family of Liang. I'm certain they'll take you in. Oh, Jin, I know it would be hard for you to accept, but I'm begging you, please accept my request. Consider it. Yan's in my last request. Oh, Majesty. Jen, right now, in this entire world, you're the only one I can trust. Promise me, please. Will you, Jen? Please, Jen. I promise you. I will, I promise. Please get up. Thank you. Please get up. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for healing my wounds. Uh, don't mention it. I consider Prince He Kong my cousin. You married her husband's niece, so I consider you family. Then would you mind me calling you uncle? <laughs> In the future, I'll repay your kindness. But for now, I need to borrow 200 soldiers, return to Guanxi, and meet the Northern Qi Army. Will 200 be enough? Don't you know? Empress Lo has colluded with the Emperor of Wei and invaded the capital there. And your brother, the Emperor, was killed. The Empress and her people escaped and are missing now. How can that be? Even if you go back to Guangxi, Northern Qi is fighting Wei now. How many soldiers can there be left to help you retake the capital? I heard that. Empress Lo's soldiers, along with those she borrowed from Wei, total near 30,000. But I can lend you 30,000 to retake your capital. Majesty, please forgive me, but I must be frank with you. Although I may call you uncle, I don't see why you'd be so generous. Hmm. Empress Lo is working with Wei now. That's not good for my empire. You'd be a wise ruler. Emperor Xiao Zhao wanted you to rule. If I support you, I believe it'll benefit me. Then what are your conditions? First, Chen and Northern Qi will be allied for the next 30 years. Two, you must repay me for the borrowed soldiers. And finally, you must agree to this condition. What's the condition? I can only tell you that once you successfully taken the throne. Don't worry. It's nothing considered wicked, and it doesn't affect your territorial claims. Fine. I agree. After all, you saved my life. I trust you. Good. Then let's make it into an oath, sworn under heaven. By mandate of heaven, Her Majesty decrees by order and authority of the late Emperor, Prince Gao Wei shall be raised by adoptive mother, namely, Imperial Concubine Lu Zhen. 
Imperial Company. Until Prince Changguang returns, she shall be entrusted with the Imperial mistake. and Phoenix seals. Anyone violating this decree shall be punished. So decreed. I accept this decree. Trusting my child to you. Mm. Please tell Jan. Jan and I are sorry for letting him down. But I'm giving my son to him. I hope it will make your loss a bit easier. Let me hug him a bit longer. Soon I won't be able to. My child. I can hardly bear to leave you. Go to sleep now. Majesty! She's passed away! <gasps> Majesty! Everyone, if Prince Tangguang doesn't come back, Wei will be the Emperor of Northern Qi. Long live the relationship! Long live the relationship! Long live the relationship! Lu Chen! It's bad, sir! We can't hold them off! Defend the city, to the very last man! Yes! The clothes are ready. You can go and get changed now. The tunnel's been dug, to the city's east. I'll send a few aides dressed as villagers to protect you and escort you to meet with General Shen. But what about you? Die honorably, protecting my country. Prince Consort, I wish you well. Excellency, you have the young prince with you. Be extra careful. Good luck. Yeah! Uncle Jong, Yan Lu. Tylus. You're safe and sound. There's justice in this world. Your Highness, I'm so happy. General Shun sent us to meet you as soon as he heard from Chun. Is my brother really dead? What about Lu Chen and Wan Yun? His Majesty has passed away. We only got the news ourselves on the way here. I think Her Majesty too. However, she gave birth to a prince and issued a decree first, entrusting him to Lu Chen. So you're saying that Lu Chen is alive? For now, she's fine as far as I know. The Prince Consort is protecting her and the Prince at Her Highness's residence. Heaven is smiling on us. Good. We must hurry back. We can make it in three days. Let's go! 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 Sister, I'm so tired. Where are we even going? Hang in there. The prince is asleep. 
Why isn't he crying now? I guess he's so hungry that he can't. There are no goats here. Sister, mm -hmm. maybe we should ask at that house if they have milk. Walk you over. No problem. Thanks for it. No, we can't. We can't let anyone see us. So what should we do then? Just hang in there, Danielle. Let's find a safe place to rest, okay? This way, sister. Quick. Dad, tell me about Come it. on. Please. Quick. Sit down. Oh, pretty dark out there. Hey, listen. We'll catch up next time, all right? See you later. Okay, I'm off. Bye. Bye. Sister, you stay here. I'll go and find some food. Huh? Danyang! Danyang! Is anyone in? Excuse me. My child is hungry. Do you have any milk? Let me check. Oh, thank you. Prince Wei, you must hang on. Your father, and your mother, and your uncle are watching over you. You have to grow up healthy. All we have is rice soup. Thank you. Thank you. Sister? What is that? Rice soup. They didn't have any milk. Let's make do with this first. Mm. Here. Mm. Done. Well, we can't leave now. How about we stay here for the night? Sister, it's all right for us to go hungry, but what about the prince, huh? You can't let him go hungry. Besides, I'm too hungry to move. I have no strength left. I remember there are some beekeepers nearby. Here, we can trade this and get some honey tomorrow. So we'll all have something to eat then. Honey? <sighs> oh. Sister, could I trade for some bee pupa too? I really love eating that. Well, of course. And with what's left, we can buy your favorite crispy cookies too. Cookies? Mm. And honey? Bee pupa? That's great. <laughs> but I'm really tired. Hey, just hang on. Think of the honey that you can eat tomorrow. And your favorite crispy cookies. You'll be okay. Search! Uh, uh, Tell me, did a woman come here last night? Uh, yes, there was Daniel, a woman. Wake up now. She said her child wake was up. hungry and she, she mm -hmm. asked me for some milk. Uh, they couldn't have gotten far then. Probably still in the village somewhere. Let's go! The reward for finding them is 10,000 tails, men! Yes! Sister, I'm sorry I should have stayed hidden. Now's not the time. Didn't we see a river just over there last night? Mm-hmm. We'll go over there, get down the cliff, try to reach the riverside. Mm. I'll lead the way. Follow me, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Sister, I'm sorry. This was my fault.
Hold it! Quick! It's up there! Stop running! Hold it! <laughs> Quick! Capture her! Could she be dead? Highness, so what should we do now? Bring me a newborn baby boy here. I'll hold a worship ceremony. You'll dress as Lu Jun and hold that child. And after that, he will ascend the throne. And as the Empress Dowager, I will rule as regent. Gao Jun's fate hangs in the balance. Maybe he's already lying dead somewhere. If Shen Xiaoyan retaliates, It'll have no justification, and he'll be labeled a traitor. And if I issue the call, then all the other counties who now sit on the fence will back the Imperial family, and his thousands of troops will pose no threat anymore. your auntie Danyang, okay? Uh, excuse me, have you seen a woman about this tall wearing a headscarf? Excuse me, uh -huh. have you seen a woman about this tall wearing a headscarf around here? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe someone else has. Thank you.
here first, I tell you. You haven't paid yet. All right, all right, slow down there. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that child yours? Where's your husband? Come, I'll help you find your man. Don't touch me! Oh, you're quite feisty. I like that! <laughs> Don't go! Come on! What hole did you crawl out of? Get lost! Uh, you! Miss uh, yeah. Lou, are you all right? Li uh, uh, It's you! He has such a strong cry. He is indeed the true heir. Li Dadan, why are you here now? Uh, after the Empress Dowager came back, she sent people to occupy the state kiln. Those Wei soldiers shouted their battle cry, and my brothers and I escaped as soon as we heard it. We figured seek refuge in Zhao Jadu with the two Yuhun traders here, but those traders ran off faster than a bunch of rabbits. Luckily, my brothers and I are strong people. We occupied the traders' houses here. Ah, it's chaotic. No one dares fight us, though. Have you seen my sister? No, but don't worry. I'm sure she's fine. I heard she left with her child and husband, visiting her in-laws in his hometown. Ah, Miss Lu, you can stay here and relax for a while. Mm. I'll help you find a nanny. Wait till there's peace, and then go back. Besides, there are 45 of us here, and we won't let you suffer. Okay, but I need you to help me with something. Ask around about the troops that went west, if Prince Tongguang's okay, and how things are at Guanxi. You mean you haven't heard yet? Hmm? The Wei soldiers in the city say Prince Chengguang isn't injured, but was actually captured by the Emperor of Wei. He broke away and tried to run, but was shot by archers and died at the river. <sighs> Miss Lu, there's also this. Dowager Lo, by mandate of heaven, will worship heaven and ancestors with Prince Gao Wei on the 19th day of the ninth month in the third year of his reign, after which in Taiji Hall shall he be crowned. to return to the capital tonight. But why go back there now? It's a critical time. Besides, the Empress Dowager thinks you're dead. If you go now, you'll walk into a trap. It's like suicide. Whether it's true or not, I have to go back. She's trying to pass off some other boy as Prince Wei. She'll hold the ceremony tomorrow and have him ascend the throne. If officials and ordinary folk don't know the difference, they'll believe that child really is Prince Wei. And even if they're unhappy with her, they'll still stand behind him. And General Shen, returning home with his troops, will surely be framed for treason. <coughs> but... That's why I must return there now. I must expose her conspiracy in front of all those people and make sure everyone there knows that to hold power, she had her own son murdered. But if you go back there, you'll surely be killed. I don't care. Those I loved most are no longer around. So what's the point of living anymore? My only concern left is for the safety of Prince Wei. Yes, the little prince still needs your care. But compared to the child, General Shen's troops are more important to save. Brother Lee, I know you are righteous. For the sake of our friendship, help me look after the prince. Entrust him later to General Shen. Tell him who the child is, so he can help him take the throne. And if General Shen's gone, please send the child to Prince Hukun's residence. As long as they know this child is my nephew, my uncle will take him and raise him. General Shen will be arriving soon, though. Just wait a few more days and you can entrust the little prince to- Brother Lee! I'm begging you. 
The ceremony will be held. I have to get back there today. Fine, I promise. Now get up. Stand up, please. On behalf of Northern Chi, I thank you. No, I'm honored. Dear Wei, I may not be able to look after you later. You must grow up safely and strong, and never, ever forget that you had a very brave father and a loving mother. And you, and you had the world's most heroic uncle.